create a shape in Affinity Design. Just go over here to the Tools panel, maybe round, rectangle, perfect reasonable, and then go to the Gradient tool, select that. Then just go to the top left, and you notice here you've got Type, you've got Solid, also you've got Linear, and I'm just gonna go with Linear. And you can see you've got the stop and the stop there. These are the color stops. So you've got a red color stop and a slightly darker red color stop. Well, with that selected, you can move it, modify it, do all kinds of things. However, you can also change the colors. Personally, I prefer to change them up here, so I'm just gonna click up here. And what you can do, you've got this, I'll just move that slightly out of the way. You can add additional stops. You can just click on it, double click, double click, and you can add these color stops. And now at the moment, of course, they're still red, but you can go down here, select it, and you can see as you select it, that one is slightly bigger than that one. These other ones are not selected. So that one's the selected one. And you can just click there and maybe make it blue. And you can see the reflected there in the, the gradient. And again, you go to this one and that will again slightly be bigger now. And you make it that one yellow. And you can move these as well. You can move them backwards and forwards. You can go over a stop as well. So an existing stop, you can just move that like that. Position it again there. Also, you can change this. You can click there and change the midpoint. Now the midpoint means that you get more red or more yellow, so you've got a lot of yellow or sharper. Makes it look sharper, I think. But keep it sort of like blurry between the yellow and the red by default, 50%. And again, if you want to, you can select that one and you can always delete it, just press delete. So you've got this gradient design now. What you can now do, if you want to save it to the swatches, notice I've got the swatches panel here, purposely, and that is in the view menu, studio and swatches. What you can do, go to the move tool. With move tool selected, you've got that there, got that gradient selected. You can see the gradient there in that little, well, what you can do, just go here. That's all you need to do, just click current fill to palette. And then you'll see it added, it adds it at the start, adds it right at the top, doesn't add it at the end, adds it at the start there. Once you've done that, that's it, it's stored. And of course you can come back to use it later. And of course you can see some of these other gradients that I created earlier already there. And again, all of them can be modified just simply by just go up here to the fill, click there. And again, you can see exactly the same. Got all these stops, just change the stop, just change the color. And then you can save it just simply by clicking again down here. As long as that current fill is set to the gradient. That's the key thing. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.